Welcome to this tutorial about 2D drawing in Allplan. I will show you how to quickly draw a 2D footprint of a building and how to use tools like hatching and patterns. I am currently in the role drafting in the task area design. To draw the outer boundary of the site, I will use the tool line. In my properties, I can adjust settings such as pen thickness, line type, line color, layer, and some other element related properties. I decide to stick with the pen thickness of 0.25, and I will change the line type to line type number 5. To start drawing a line, I simply click somewhere on my workspace, and now I just have to enter a second point of the line. I could either do so by just clicking, entering a delta x and delta y, or by tracing a track line and entering a distance along or perpendicular to the track line. I'm using the last option to enter a 15 meter long line. I hit enter, and now you can see I already have the first point of my next line, and I decide to draw my side six meters wide. To create the third boundary, I will use a second tracking point and we'll find the virtual intersection between this tracking point and this tracking point. To close the boundary of this plot, I simply click on the first point. To exit the line tool, I simply hit escape twice. To create the boundary of the building, I use the tool rectangle. I change back the line type to line type number one. I've enabled the feature polyline and will draw my rectangle based on a baseline. I simply click on my plot boundary and since I want to have the building as wide as my plot, I just click on the opposite side again. Now I can decide how far my building should go. I could do so by either clicking or again entering a distance down here. I want the building to be 10 meters long. Once I entered this value, Allplan finished drawing the rectangle and now we could start drawing a new rectangle. In this case, we simply hit escape to exit the tool. To draw the inner boundary of this building, I will use the tool and close. Allplan now asks to select line 1. Now we'll just go ahead and select all lines around the building to close the polygon. Now I can enter an offset to create a parallel element. Once I enter the offset and hit enter, Allplan is asking me on which side to apply this offset. I want to apply to the inside of the building, so I just click inside of it. Now you can see Allplan finished creating this offset element and we could start again creating a new offset element. We again exit this tool by hitting escape. To create some inner walls, we will use the tool parallel line to element. After activating the tool, I simply click align and now I can place it parallel to the element itself. Either by entering a distance or by simply clicking where I would like to place it. Since I want to have this wall to have a certain thickness, I enter the thickness down here as an offset of 0.125. After entering the offset and the side, Orban is asking me how many elements do I want to create. In this case, I just want to create one element, so I hit enter. 
Now you can see I've created the outline of this, two, of this wall. Now I would like to create a horizontal wall. For this I use again the parallel to element tool. I simply click this boundary and again place the line somewhere. Here I want to again apply an offset of 0.125 to create this wall. You can now see that those lines intersect with each other. And I would actually just like to have a wall on the side. To trim those walls, I will use the tool Trim Lines to Element. I select the lines to trim, click the reference element, and then click on the side I want to keep. Since those walls are supposed to be of the same type, this little line here needs to be deleted. To do so, I use the tool Auto Delete Segment. I simply click on the segment I want to delete and all plan will find intersections with different elements and delete in between. Now that I have created all walls, I can go ahead and create some doors and windows. For that I will use again the tool line. I simply draw the sill of a door and again here for a window a little bit wider. I can now go ahead and auto delete the segment again. To create the door opening, I will use the tool circle. To create a circle, I have different options, but I will here use just a circle based on center. I select the center here and just open up the circle to the other side of my opening. I can now decide how much of the circle should be drawn. I start here and open up one quarter of the circle. Now I simply exit out of this tool by hitting escape. Now using direct object modification I adjust the line to intersect with the circle. Now that the general footprint is completed, I would like to use some hatchings and patterns to visualize the materials of elements. I will start by using a hatching. After clicking hatching, I can open up the properties, select different hatchings on the left side, see a little preview down here, and can adjust some settings up here. I will stick with hatching number 301 for masonry, hit OK. And now, since I have the area detection enabled, a simple click within the boundaries of an element will create the hatching in the desired area. Only one more click to fill also this area here. After placing the hatching, I just hit Escape to exit the tool. For the kitchen area, I would like to show some tiles, and for that I use the tool pattern. It looks pretty similar to hatchings, there's only one difference. If you enter the properties, you can here decide upon dimensions in terms of a height factor and a width factor. I choose pattern number 8 with a height and width factor, factor of 0.5. I hit OK, and again, since I have the area detection enabled, a simple click within the area will create the pattern there. If you would like to change anything of the properties later on, you can simply double left click the pattern and for example, choose to change those height and width factors. 
As you can see, now the tiles got bigger. To apply material for those drywalls, I use the Fill tool. I choose color number 21. Hit OK. And again, because of the area detection, just click inside of the walls and fill the entire area. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you to get started with Allplan. For more training material, visit campus.allplan.com.